Hi, this is Bill, and we're here on the Yuba River, and we're going to be talking about a snap tee and kind of the finer points of executing a snap tee, which is a spay cast. I'm going to be using a two-handed rod, and this is a cast whenever the wind is blowing upstream or when you need to utilize space that's over your upstream shoulder. All right, from downstream, I'm in the hang down position. I'm going to lift the rod to load it and circle clockwise, leaving, ending the rod tip in toward the shoreline. Lift to get tension, accelerate under. Lift up, circle under and to the side. This way there's no way the fly can ever hit the rod because I've moved the rod to the side. And go again, lift to load it, accelerate under, that drops my anchor a rod's length away. 45 degrees off my upstream shoulder, 45 degrees from where I'm aiming my cast. So if I'm aiming my cast there, 45 degrees of that is going to be right here. Get tight to the line, lift up, accelerate under and to the side, sweep around. There's the D-loop. You can see the D-loop from downstream. We're going to put those two pieces together. Here's the lift, the anchor. Here's my sweep and my D-loop. Notice my D-loop is going exactly 180 degrees from where ultimately I'm making the cast. I create that D-loop by the rod tip as I sweep around. The rod tip goes from, here it is, low to high to draw that D shape. If I sweep around and go straight up, I don't get a D shape. I need that D shape because that's what's going to load the rod for the forward delivery. Lift, accelerate under to the side, sweep low to high, there's the D and make the forward delivery. The timing on the forward delivery is as soon as you see the line, your yellow, the head, if your head is yellow, whatever color your head is, as soon as you see it turn in the water, right now it's, it's perpendicular to where I'm aiming. The fly line is aiming like this at the end of my fingers is my yellow head. When I sweep around, that head is going to turn. And as soon as I see that yellow turn, that's when I know it's time to make my forward stroke. Boom, anchor. Watch it. There it is. It turned. As soon as it turns, I fire, fire the forward shot. We go back downstream again. Lift, circle under. There's my anchor. Chase around. The line turned. I make the forward delivery. Those three steps are so important in order. You know, without, this, without the anchor stroke, dropping the anchor within a 45 degree of the rod tip, you're really hosed for your D-loop. And without a good D-loop, starting the rod tip low and accelerating high to get that shape, you're not going to get a good load. And the forward delivery from that point is really just a matter of stopping the rod to release the energy. What you're doing and what you think you're doing are so often two different things. And people forever think that's stopping the rod. Well, the line did shoot, it went, but that same power that I applied right there, but if I actually stop the rod, look how the line just shoots out. Look where the rod angle stopped on that one, where it actually shot, versus the rod's almost parallel with the water. Just by stopping that forward stroke earlier and accentuating the rod tip's release by a deliberate stop, not a stop, stop, that rod will release all that energy.